All right, so I'm making another video on this topic because like I said, it's a topic of interest to me and also it's something that affected me. And I just wanna preface my video by saying that uh, me making videos is not like me trying to get like sympathy. Like I've had somebody comment that on one of my videos before, like, no, I'm not looking for sympathy from anybody. Like I'm not, especially not from people that like think this way or do this, like that's not what this is about. Like. I'm just making videos because I don't like this and it's something that I wish would change and I guess this is just my little way of doing something about it because if people don't know about something then they're not going to know that it's even a problem and they won't even know that it's something that needs to be changed. So yeah, also uh, while I do struggle with confidence in like, the thing I struggle with confidence the most is in my work, in my job, in trying to be a physician. like. That's where I have the most struggle with like my confidence but as far as like in myself like I do think that I'm a good person and I do think that I'm a worthy person and I think highly of myself and I don't need somebody else to like affirm that for me like I already feel that way about myself it's just that I've been through things that I don't like and it happens not only to me but to other people and I think I don't know, it's just validating to know that you're not the only one that goes through certain things or that is hurt by certain things. So anyway, um, sometimes people will reach out to me in response to my video about like Indian and uh, black interracial relationships, talking about their experiences that were not that great and that like caused them pain as well. So this one girl reached out to me today. She's also a black girl and I'm just gonna read what she's saying because if I try to explain it myself it probably isn't gonna go the right way so anyway she said hi um I was so relieved to come across your video about black daisy relationships and I'm so sorry that that happened to you I literally had a weird experience with an Indian boy he was in my AP physics class and he would always stare at me and I always found it creepy um I didn't pay it much I didn't pay it too much uh mind though but when i found out i was in a school club with him i was irritated um but once again i didn't mind so the staring continued and one day i needed a ride for volunteering and my parents couldn't pick me up because they were working so then he offered to take me in his car and he talked to me a lot he asked me many questions about myself while bragging about himself um, he literally tried to make the car ride comfortable for me to where he insisted on closing the sunroof if I didn't want it that way, even though I, even though he told me his mom likes it open. So I told him that it's fine because his mom obviously has her reasons for leaving his sunroof open. So the questions about myself continued and those questions were questions that you ask someone you're interested in. He even took his mask off in front of me and I kept mine on. So he stops by his house and he tells me he can't let me in because his mom is having meetings. So I tell him that's okay. In my mind, I already knew it was because I was black, but I didn't care. So he comes back and we go to the place I'm supposed to volunteer. And I insist on us going inside the school, but he tells me that there are 15 minutes left. Then he continues to talk to me and ask me questions once again. So I play along. After this, I grew a tiny crush on him, so I told my friend and she, su she, su she suggested that I follow him on Instagram and talk to him, so I do and everything is going good until I notice how dry he is and I notice how he changes. One day he left me on delivered for 15 hours, so when he responded, I just liked the message and one of my good friends is friends with his best friend, so she found through him that he didn't like me because of my race keep in mind this is the same guy that would always stare at me when i'm around him so he tells his best friend it seems like she's initiating but she's not my type and that's when it and that was bleh. and that's when it was raps after i told my best friend she told me the truth since she knew him for some time she was able to let me know she said that it's obvious that he is infatuated with me but because of racism especially from his family he couldn't do much about it, unfortunately, because he could get disowned. And that broke me seriously because I didn't do anything. I was judged because I was black. 
I couldn't go days without hearing my name come up in conversations from his friends. I ignored it, but it really hurt me. It's almost like I couldn't escape. No matter where I was, if he was there, he would just stare at me. I remember graduation when I was just talking to my friends and when it was over, one of my friends told me that he was staring at me the whole time in line. Coming across your video gave me a better perspective. Thank you for sharing your story. And then I responded to her and then she said, um, everything you said was correct. I never thought I would experience racism like this. Um, I just remembered to add in this slight detail, after the car ride scenario, I would walk in the direction he was leaving for class and I would always wave and say hi to him. At first he would respond and wave back, but then he just started to give me a head nod. I don't even know why I endured this disrespect. However, after I saw what he had had to say about me to his best friend, I walked with my best friend who happens to be a guy. We were both laughing at what happened in class and I chose to take the same route. My other friend was on the other side of me as well. So I was in the middle, but I was laughing with him, uh, with my guy, best friend. I didn't even pay attention to the Indian guy because I was over it. However, the next day, my girlfriend who was walking in the hallway with me that same day told me that he looked down at us and looked irritated. I was confused because my thing was, if I wasn't his supposed type, why did he feel some type of way? Um, and then I said some stuff to her. Yeah, and I basically was saying like, I really think that these guys are lying. I think that they're actually attracted to black women and they just are brainwashed by their family and by their society to think that that's like wrong. And that some people, honestly, their, fam their families will disown them. And they like, if you're like a teenager or you're in college and you're like living at home and your parents are paying for your education, like you can't just like go against them because they will literally, some of these families literally will just kick their kids out they will stop paying for anything. They will just like literally pretend that they're dead. And it's interesting because sometimes like, I've like had it happen where some Indian people, like they don't seem to believe that that's real or that that actually happens, but it does. And it's like, it's interesting to me that like a lot of Indian people like don't even know what happens in their own culture. And maybe that's just because it's so diverse and there are so many different people. And obviously not all Indian Families are the same, not all Indian people are the same, not all of them are racist or xenophobic or whatever. But still, like, this happens enough to where it's, like, it's not an uncommon thing. And, like, some of these families will, like, just the way they treat their own kids, I just can't understand it. I think it's, like, honestly, it's child abuse. It's, like, they won't allow their kids to make their own decisions. They really control their kids' lives and... They put all of these expectations on them and it really causes a lot of trauma and pain. But it's like, if you're dependent on your parents, like you can't really do anything about it. So you just have to listen to them. And so anyway, she was saying, yeah. And I was just like, I think these guys, I really feel like these guys are like, they're interested in black women. They're just like pretending they're not because it's like trying to be in an interracial relationship is like not worth it to them because they don't want to lose their families. But like I've said before, in my opinion, I don't think like a family that would disown you for, for loving somebody that's different from you is like a family that really actually even loves you or cares about you. And I think that if your family genuinely loved you and cared about you, they would just want for you to be happy, whether you were with like somebody of your own race or background or a different person, as long as that person was a good person who treated you well. But it's like, a lot of these scenarios it's like the Indian family doesn't even they don't even want to meet the girl like they'll just automatically be like no and they won't even get to know the person so it's like it's not about it's really not even about like religion because even if they meet somebody that's the same like religion as them and the same like culture and from the same place if the person is like too dark or they have ethnic features then they, they still reject the person. And I just can't stand it when people are like feigning ignorance to the fact that there's a lot of like colorism and racism and xenophobia within the community and in the culture. And like, I don't know, I wish people would like stop pretending like that's not what it is because that's what it is. Because when you remove all of like the cultural differences, like religious differences, when you're talking about people from the same place, like the same people from the same place with the same like race, the same background they grew up in the same culture like they still discriminate against each other anyway so it's just like stop being stop being like 
stop pretending that you don't know what it is because it's just racism it's just colorism it's prejudice that's what it is so please stop pretending that like that's not what it is anyway i'm trying to read her message she said that's exactly what my friends told me because if you don't find someone attractive you wouldn't always stare at them it's a shame that they cannot think for themselves i literally relate to what you're saying because every time i would look up he would be staring at me my initial thought was that he probably never saw a black person before but there had to be another reason. The fact that he couldn't stop and continue continue to stare at me at graduation is very telling. I can't even believe that guy did that to you. Like, if he, um, where was I? Like, if he knew his family was racist, he shouldn't have done all those things for you. Cause I didn't even mention in my initial video, like everything that happened and everything that the guy did or said. But like, if I did, I think, whatever other people would understand why i was so upset but um yeah it's like if if he knew his family was racist he shouldn't have done all those things for you i honestly feel that the guilt ate him up inside he knew better than to pursue you if he knew his family was racist that's disgusting and the only exception would be if he chose not to care about what they say but he took his mom's side because of his fear of being disowned i feel like they have a toxic relationship with their moms to the extent that they put their moms over their partners and it's actually terrifying i never knew some indian people had prejudice against black people until this situation it's really hard not understanding why some situations take place if he didn't like me he wouldn't invite me in his car offer me a ride home ask me so many questions about myself risk being in trouble with his parents for having me in his car a black girl at that try to make me comfortable at every chance he got stare at me like crazy like i know when someone likes me they don't do those things to people they don't have an attraction toward. I honestly wish he just stayed a stranger. He didn't have to do all of this and make me feel like I was obsessed with him. That's what made me feel terrible. Like, why would you, why would somebody do something like that? Honestly, it's like, that's how I felt too. It's like, why would you put so much time and energy and effort into trying to be with somebody and like showing interest in them if you're really not and like I don't think it's it doesn't make sense like I, I'm not going to go out of my way to try to make somebody feel special if I really don't even care about that person or if I'm not romantically interested in that person I'm not going to act like that with them so I don't know this is just something that really bothers me and it happens to a lot of women it's not just me and I'm sick of people making me think like oh that doesn't really happen nobody thinks like that uh nobody's like that um it's just in your head like just making me feel like i'm crazy like i'm not crazy i'm not and i recognize all of the bigotry and i don't like it and i'm trying to do something about it like these videos are getting people to see what happens and i don't know if people just would like listen and like hear other stories from other black people and black women especially then maybe they would i don't know have more empathy and they would just like get it and like people would start to change their behavior. Anyway, that's my rambling video for today.